What's going on everybody? This video you're about to watch is an excerpt from our front tire roundup test where we put eight all mountain focused tires head to head to see how they compared and which provided the best combination of cornering traction, overall grip, and support. Make sure to head to vitalmtb.com to check out the full review and video to see how each performed and to learn more about the other tires tested. Up next, the Attack HPL is one of V's latest gravity models. Standing for hard, pack, and loose, the tire is intended for mixed conditions. The tread design uses ramped, medium depth center knobs evenly spaced apart with deeper shoulder knobs set in parallel. Closed siping is used throughout and alternating side knobs have an additional inset step to increase leaning traction. The Attack HPL comes in three compound and casing options. We tested the mid-weight GXE core casing in grippiest full 40 compound in a 2.6 inch width. The Enduro Focus casing uses a 1.5 ply construction with an apex insert and chafer in the bead to save weight without diminishing protection. Derived from V's Motorsports division, the Full 40 compound uses an ultra tacky 40A rubber with excellent slow rebound characteristics. The Attack HPL was definitely the outlier in this test. None of us had ever ridden V tires before, but we were stoked to spin some laps and form an opinion about one of their newest tires. The V Attack HPL. This one, I was interested in trying, you know, I've heard a lot of things about V tires in the last year or two, and it kind of, you know, it lived up to it. It was, it was a good tire. It scored well for me. It scored at an eight, which was pretty high for me. And it had great cornering traction, um, had a kind of a consistent feel throughout. And I think it scored better than the Askai. It was very similar in tread pattern but scored better because of the casing. The casing seemed to not fold as much and kind of held up a bit better in the rocks. But I did notice I didn't really like big hits. Um, it was really compliant on the smaller chatter and kind of had a good feel over small chatter and wanted to hold traction. But when you had a big hit, it seemed to kind of fold with that big hit and then deflect a little bit. So the V Attack HPL was my favorite tire out of the test. I gave it a 9.2 out of 10. And for me, that was the tire that the second I got on it, I felt immediately comfortable. I think the standout characteristic of the Attack that I liked was how well it locked into corners and just held an angle all the way through a turn. It does have a more rounded tire profile, which generally I lean towards your more kind of squared off designs that have a distinct drop off in traction when you're leaning over. For whatever reason on the attack, I just felt comfortable the further I would lean on that tire. It did, you know, at some point start to lose traction, but it never felt surprising or inconsistent. It was very predictable knowing how hard I could push that tire. Yeah, overall, I just think that's a tire that has a ton of grip in the knobs. They're super pliable and can, you know, in the conditions we tested, that it's pretty tough to find a tire that can grab onto loose over hard pack terrain. It really excelled in that. And then just the tread design itself never really seemed to have an end to the traction it could provide. Um, and then kind of topping it off with a sidewall construction that, uh, you know, held up to as hard as I could push the tire. All right, the V Attack HPL scored an 8.6. This tire also has a pretty radial tread design and a lot of transition knobs between the center and corner ones. For cornering, it had a supportive casing, but the side knobs are a bit soft for me, so felt like it would sort of fade a little bit and squirm a little once you got it really on the side knobs. Um, the tread performance though was really consistent. I felt like it had traction everywhere. And then for sidewall support, it had a lot more support than the other radial tires we tested. So I felt like that was super beneficial. Um, just maybe the cornering knobs themselves were a little soft for how stiff that was for me personally. All right, well, there you have it. Eight front tires tested. It's pretty awesome how many quality tires we have to choose from nowadays. Let us know in the comments which tire you would pick and make sure to head to vitalmtb.com to read our complete review. Cheers.